morning guys how we doing so today we are going to go wean my calves which means we got to round up the cows because they're on corn stalks finally getting to it it's just been so busy uh, I don't know just been so busy that we're just now getting to it it's a little later than what I wanted but it'll be all right moms look good still they're on plenty of feed so not too worried about that but heading to the shop right now I gotta go get my boots I got my muck boots on right now went coon hunting last night and then I forgot to get my boots at the shop so heading to the shop now get the boots I'm gonna go down to my neighbors and pick up his portable corral system make the job a lot easier and because we don't have any corrals around where they're at so we're just gonna set up some portable corrals and then we'll run them in there I'm gonna use the dogs today uh, this will only be their second time actually out in the field working with them, but we'll see how they do. I used them the other night to get some cows in that were out. It was in the middle of the dark, and they, they worked pretty good, but it was a pretty straightforward process. Just herd them across cornfield. So we'll see how they do today. It'll be interesting. I got to work with them some more anyway, so the best way to do it is just to get them out there. I got a heater installed on my side by side. And I'm thinking in a future video, I'm going to talk a little bit about that heater and how I installed it because there wasn't a whole lot of good videos on how to install, install one. And now that I know how, I, I'd like to share it with you guys. But another thing I've been working on, which I didn't film at all because it was kind of a top secret deal but I built a farmhouse table my wife really wanted one with benches so I built all this from scratch and I got the polyurethane on the top I think I'm actually gonna end up stripping all the polyurethane off later on and uh, epoxying it or I'm gonna just keep adding more layers I like how it turned out it's pretty tough but there's a few rough spots and I'm gonna get some sandpaper some like 3000 grit and lightly sand it down but it takes forever to dry but I can find little low spots, so that's a real bummer. That didn't get very much urethane.
We're not trying to push these cows super fast. my blue healer out. She's super eager to get them. She listens pretty good. She's a major pusher. Hunt them up! Hunt them up! Hunt them up!
should have looked a little longer. Make sure that one was going to clear the other one. It sure don't seem like it's that far over there. But they got to have it figured out. How many calves we got in there? A couple? More than just one? Oh, yeah. Well, we got everything done we wanted to this weekend. We got the cows separated yesterday. And then today we worked them and just gave them, basically what we did is just gave them their vaccines. Uh, I gave them three of them. I gave them a wormer. I gave them uh, Vision 7 with Spur. And I gave them Pyramid 5. Just to get them vaccinated again. They were vaccinated this spring, but this time it's fall. So now they have their spring and fall vaccinations. And some of them I did give them... Uh, the implants, the ear implants, and then I didn't do it to the ones that I might keep as heifers. I haven't decided for sure if I want to or not, but there's two of them I'm looking at. Uh, they're nice big baldy calves, came out of good moms, but I'm not sure if I want to deal with that next year yet or not. Uh, you know, it's, you got to just basically have to watch them a lot more than what you would a normal cow, but so I didn't implant those because I just, just in case, I decided to keep them. They say you're not supposed to, but uh, you're not supposed to implant them if you're going to keep them. But I guess we'll see if I decide to or not, and we'll go from there. But I got to get ready. Me and my wife are going to town tonight. Uh, we got some things we got to take care of. So she's inside getting ready, and I got a shower yet, and we got to be there pretty soon. So... That's all I got for you on this video, guys. Check back next week on the next video. If you haven't already, please subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.